Earth 2060 gives you more value than other titles. It's a much larger game. Uh, the campaign is, is massive. Um, well over 100 hours of gameplay. Well, science fiction RTSs have really come a long way in the past few years, and Earth 2160 really takes advantage of a lot of the new technologies available, such as a really exciting graphics engine, in-depth storyline, customizable units, virtual agents, and a lot of exciting new features. Things like unit customization, and the different modular creation for all the different factions, how all four factions in the game really behave very differently. They all have their own construction modules, they have their own units, they have their own customizations, they have their own technology trees, which are all very massive, very different, and all kind of provide an excellent interplay that goes beyond what, what I'm used to in real-time strategy games. The Earth 2160 graphics engine is going to be extremely exciting for the player. They use a significant amount of uh, normal mapping and bump mapping, which gives a great deal of detail and lighting uh, detail for each of the different units. Also, this allows each of the different units to have animations. Even if you zoom in extremely close, on, you'll be able to see each of the weapons firing, each of the legs moving, each of the treads moving. There was a terrible war which actually resulted in the total destruction of the Earth. Now, we don't just mean that the Earth was left uninhabitable, it was actually completely destroyed. So in, in Earth 2160, basically, w what happens is all the factions are, are competing for scarce resources and, and trying to terraform planets like Mars and other planetary objects so they can live on it. The Eurasian dynasty originally was created on Earth. They took up the lands of Europe and Asia and Russia. The Eurasian dynasty is a very militaristic rule with a very large totalitarian government that subjugates its uh, population and uses its military to achieve its goals. The Luna Corporation, or the LC as it's referred to in the game, is a group of almost completely women. It uses women uh, almost solely in its military. It concentrates uh, heavily on technology and psionics and it has several unique uh, features in their construction and modular building formation that you'll find in the game. The UCS of the United Civilized States uh, originally uh, were organized on uh, North and South America on Earth and then after its destruction they filled a ship called the Phoenix and fled to Mars as well. However, the Phoenix ship was lost and no one knows where it is now. The aliens are an ancient race that rely almost exclusively on biotechnology. While each of the different factions in Earth 2160 slightly differ from each other, the aliens are the most extreme. Their construction of buildings and units rely on cloning and transformation technology. Major Michael Faulkner is a soldier for the Eurasian dynasty, and he's one of the heroes that you'll play in Earth 2160. He survived the destruction of Earth and made it to Mars, where you'll actually take control of him and actually be able to fight the other factions in the game. Arai is the hero in the LC army that the player gets to control. Araya is kind of a uh, no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of girl that controls most of the LC army. Professor Sebastian O'Rourke is a pivotal figure in, inside Earth 2160. Using his knowledge of astrophysics and other important features, he uses that to discover many important features about the aliens throughout the game. Lynn is actually a hacker in Earth 2160. She actually was originally a member of the Eurasian dynasty and she rebels against them and repatriates to the uh, Lunar Corporation where she becomes a good friend of Araya and throughout the game she becomes extremely pivotal in using some of her hacking skills to help you achieve various missions. Science fiction has really been about exploring the future and Earth 2160 is the future of science fiction RTSs. Mm -hmm.